Modern English is the form of the English language spoken since the Great Vowel Shift in England, which began in the late 14th century and was completed in roughly 1550. With some differences in vocabulary, texts from the early 17th century, such as the works of William Shakespeare and the King James Bible, are considered to be in modern English, or more specifically, are referred to as using early modern English or Elizabethan English. English was adopted in regions around the world, such as North America, the Indian subcontinent, Africa, Australia and New Zealand through colonization by the British Empire. Modern English has a large number of dialects spoken in diverse countries throughout the world. This includes American English, Australian English, British English, Canadian English, Caribbean English, Hiberno-English, Indo-Pakistani English, Nigerian English, New Zealand English, Philippine English, Singaporean English, and South African English. According to the Ethnologue, there were over one billion speakers of English as a first or second language in 1999. English is spoken as a first or a second language in a large number of countries, with the largest number of native speakers being in the United Kingdom, Ireland, Canada, the United States of America, Australia, and New Zealand. It is spoken as a second language by perhaps a billion people, with large numbers in India, Pakistan, the Philippines and Southern Africa. Its large number of speakers, plus its worldwide presence, have made English a common language for use in such diverse areas as aircraft control, software development, scientific publications, conducting international diplomacy, business relations, and international travel and tourism. Influences Early modern English lacked uniformity in spelling, but Samuel Johnson's Dictionary, published in 1755 in England, was influential in establishing a standard form of spelling. Noah Webster did the same in the United States, publishing his dictionary in 1828. See American and British English spelling differences. Public education increased literacy, and more people had access to books with the spread of public libraries in the 19th century. Many words entered English from other languages as a result of contact with other cultures through trade and settlement and from the migration of large numbers of people to the United States from other countries. World War I and World War II threw together people from different backgrounds, and the greater social mobility afterwards helped to lessen the differences between social accents, at least in the UK. The development of radio broadcasting in the early 20th century familiarized the population with accents and vocabulary from outside their own localities, often for the first time, and this phenomenon continued with film and television. Outline of Changes The following is an outline of the major changes in modern English compared to its previous form. Note, however, that these are generalizations, and some of these may not be true for specific dialects equals phonology equals equals syntax equals disuse of the tv distinction use of auxiliary verbs becomes mandatory in interrogative sentences rise and fall of prescriptive grammarians equals alphabet equals changes in alphabet and spelling were heavily influenced by the advent of printing and continental printing practices the letter thorn which was already being replaced by th in middle english finally fell into disuse the last vestige of the letter was writing the as a three-quarters e, which was still seen occasionally in the King James Bible of 1611. The letters I and J, previously written as a single letter, began to be distinguished. Likewise for U and V. This was a common development of the Latin alphabet during this period. Consequently, modern English came to use a purely Latin alphabet of 26 letters. See also, History of the English Language. International English References External links, Ethnologues English, A Language of United Kingdom, Shakespeare's Influence on Early Modern English